Let me bring in Jeff Niddle, who runs Airbus of Americas. And we were just talking as you were listening to the conversation here. We're in a strange time, both in terms of the market and in terms of the airline industry. Let me start first off with coronavirus. You saw the estimate from uh, the International Air Transport Association, sure. a dramatic increase in terms of what the revenue hit will be to airlines. Yes. What's your perspective right now? Well, I think, one, you have to look at it from a, a long-term perspective. And I think airlines are doing that. The, the reality is they're making short-term adjustments to their schedules to ensure their financial strength. And I would add, Phil, by the way, the airlines have never been financially stronger to handle an event like this. So they're making short-term adjustments to, uh, to address this problem. I don't think it changes the long-term aspects of, of their strategic plans, or ours, quite honestly, but they have to look at the current situation. You've been in this industry a number of years. Sure. I won't say exactly how many, but you've <laughs> seen SARS, you've seen after 9-11. Yes. Give me your perspective in terms of how you think demand shakes out. Well, I think the, the, the reality is what we've seen is some type of V-shaped return in, after all of these. Now, in, in, after 9-11, it took a little bit longer. But you also have to remember the airlines at that point in time were in very poor financial shape yep. and there was a lot, a lot of uncertainty. I look more at SARS as an indicator of how this um, could shake out. Now, we, our, our, our uh, expertise in this, quite honestly, comes from the true experts, the World Health Organization, the CDC and their recommendations and what they see and how they see it playing out. So we, we rely on them as the experts and we adjust our business plans to that. But as of right now, you're not changing either your production schedule, no. what you're planning, or changing what you think is likely to be the order demand rate over the next year or two, correct? Well, not at all. Quite honestly, we were in a situation where we were, with, with 7,500 airplanes in our backlog, yep. we, were, we were pushing hard to keep up. So we don't see any short-term issues from this at, at this point. Certainly. When you look at your plant down in Alabama and you're going to have the A220 plant fully online by August, Correct. do you have to modify operations at all given what's going on uh, with coronavirus? No, not, not at all. I mean, circumstances can change, obviously. But as of today, when we speak with the experts when, and when we look at where we are in terms of our plans, we intend to deliver our first airplane the 220 out of Alabama in August to Delta Airlines, and we're continuing to ramp up our production on the 320 to from six a month to seven a month, delivering close to 70 airplanes. Jeff Nittle, the man who runs Airbus of Americas, you guys are busy right now. You got the plant coming online down in Alabama, A220, the first one from there being delivered in August, and then you got to navigate coronavirus. Guys, we're at the summit all day long. We'll be talking with a number of airline CEOs. This is, we're in that capacity cut range right now. You're going to start hearing from airlines either expecting hits in revenue and or at the same time cutting their capacity for the second and third quarters, if not the rest of this year.